Story Fun for Movers by Karen Saxby Published by Cambridge University Press This recording is copyright CD1 My friend Meg. Listen. Meg is my best friend. She's ten. Everyone in our class likes Meg because she's always happy <laughs> and she's very funny. She can do long sums and spell long words. And she knows the names of all the countries in the world. She can ride a bike very fast too. But Meg is always losing things. She loses lots of things every day. I can't do long sums. I can't spell long words. I don't know the names of all the countries in the world and I can't ride my bike very fast. But I can always find Meg's things for her. Meg phones me or I phone her every day. It was Sunday yesterday. Meg phoned me in the morning. She was angry. She said, Ugh, I can't find my pencils. I need them for maths tomorrow. I looked in my bag. I looked in our hall. I looked on the table. I looked on our wall. I looked by the door. Then I looked on the floor. But I can't find my pencils. Oh, Meg, I said. Go and look under your bed. Meg loves reading comics and writing funny stories about all kinds of people. She's good at drawing too. She likes drawing funny clothes. Meg likes wearing funny clothes and hats too. But she doesn't like wearing shoes. She's always taking off her shoes. She loses her shoes or her trainers every day because she puts them in lots of different places. Meg phoned me in the afternoon yesterday. She said... I can't find my trainers. I need them for our sports lesson tomorrow. I looked in the cupboard, then under the stairs. I looked on the sofa and under the chairs. I looked in the box and I looked by my socks. But I can't find my trainers. Oh, Meg! I said, go and look in your garden. Meg loves working on the computer because she likes finding out about things. She likes reading about different kinds of animals and about film stars and pop stars and music. She's great at music. She's learning to play the piano and she's having guitar and singing lessons at school too. Meg always does her music homework but then she loses it. She loses it because she puts books, a magazine or a game on top of it. Meg phoned me in the evening yesterday. She said, I can't.
can't find my homework. I need it for music tomorrow. I looked on Dad's desk, then by his guitar. I looked in Mum's bag, and in the back of our car. I looked in our kitchen, and under the kitten. But I can't find my homework. Oh, Meg! I said, "Go and look by your computer." It's Monday now. I'm putting my things in my school bag. I have to run and catch the bus to school. Meg phoned me again this morning. She said, "Hey, I found my pencils. They were under my bed. Thanks. I found my trainers." They were in the garden. Thank you. I found my homework too. It was by my computer. You're very clever, and you're a very good friend. See you at the bus stop. F. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you colour one of Meg's shoes in this picture? Okay. Which one? The one under the sofa. Colour that shoe. All right. Can I colour that one green? Yes. Good idea. Can you see the green shoe? This is an example. Now you listen and colour. One. Can I colour another thing? Yes. You can colour Meg's computer. Make it blue. Okay. I'm colouring her computer now. Thanks. Two. Now, colour the shoe that's next to the armchair. Pardon? The shoe next to the armchair? Yes. Colour it purple, please. Okay. Three. And can I colour the guitar, the guitar next to the piano? Yes. What colour? Hmm. Orange. Okay. Have you got the right pencil? Yes. Four. And now, colour the cake. Can you see it? Yes. Meg's mother's holding it. That's right. Colour the cake pink. Okay. There. Thank you. Jay, listen and look. There is one example. Meg, tell me about your best friend. What's her name? She's called Rose, Dad. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. How old is she? She's nine. Nine. Yes, that's right.
And why is she your best friend? She's my best friend because she's funny and clever. She's funny and clever? <laughs> oh, <laughs> And what colour's her hair? She's got very nice brown hair. And what colour are her eyes? They're blue. Pardon? Blue? Yes. And what does Rose like doing? She loves reading comics. <laughs> and what doesn't she like doing? She doesn't like doing homework. Oh. What sports does she like? She likes tennis. Yes, she likes playing tennis a lot. She likes finding things out on the computer too. Oh, what does she like finding out about? She likes finding out about animals. Oh.